Hey, welcome back here, buddy. Today we're doing a channel update, and so uh, for those who haven't been a part of my Discord or haven't really noticed that I've been posting more and more sieges, uh, yeah, definitely want to get siege back in the, the list, and so uh, definitely want to post this update because it also kind of contains the Red Dead Redemption too, and I'm leaving my uh, information there um, for everybody's wondering what's my rank in uh, Rainbow Six Siege. But uh, with that said, uh, in Rainbow Six Siege, I mostly play support or shield operator, so don't expect like a really high fragging you know kill that ratio or anything like that because i mostly play monty blitz or clash and they don't often get the most kills when they play with them so just fyi and full disclosure as to why my kill uh, kd ratio is the way it is um which you know some people value that very importantly but at the same time i like siege because it, it values teamwork above everything else and not everybody can be the highest fragger you need support operators you know utility operators shield operators things like that to help uh round out a team and make them more balanced um you know of course high fragging team is great and they could definitely rack up a scoreboard but you know they can also often get tripped up by utilities and support characters and lurkers and spiders as i call them but um this update in addition to explaining what's going to be happening in 2019 is also i want to kind of uh, dive a little bit deeper into my overall um, goal for 2019 now with Rainbow Six Siege, uh, that will be the premier game for my channel and you know partly because I'm kind of done with Red Dead Redemption right now and I was hoping that Red Dead Online would be um, more um, more revolutionary than or more revolutionary than I, uh, than it actually turned out to be and just based on what I've seen so far um, it doesn't have enough depth to it and it kind of feels like you have to make your own fun and there's nothing wrong with making your own fun but it's not that's gonna not be very consistent because you're always gonna have to push the envelope always have to you know um think of creative and new ways to actually make the game engaging and if you look at Rain, uh and uh I was say rainbow six if you look at um red dead redemption online uh even on twitch it doesn't have a lot of views because in all honesty red dead online is boring it is and i love red dead redemption it's a great game the single player is phenomenal but well how often can you replay the single player i mean it has a shelf life it's an expire after time and I've pretty much kind of done two playthroughs of the, the single player already, so I'm not an achievement hunter, so I'm not in 100% of the game, uh, at least not right away. I might do that, you know, over the course of the next few years, yes, but I'm never going to, like, literally go 100% the entire game in the next year or so, maybe in, like, three years from now, because it is a good game, and I do like coming back to the world once in a while to just relax and, you know, and enjoy it. Um, but I also make sure, I also have to make sure that when it comes to the personal YouTube channel that it has a focus that it has a goal no matter how big or small that is and you know for me I like Rainbow Six Siege because no matter how many times you play this game each match is, is different you can play the same room but operators where to move how to move the gunfights everything is different so even if you're watching Rainbow Six Siege of somebody else's channel their encounter could be very different from, from the encounter you're watching my channel and vice versa so the light that i love that there's so many different ways so many different variations so little so many different nuances so many so much tactical depth to it that this is a game i can really sink my teeth in and not ever get bored um and that's something i like um about it and that's why it's back to number one it was like number three um you know for a little bit because there was you know blackout um blackout with uh call of duty and then there was uh rainbow uh red red Dead Redemption number one but uh blackout is good i like it i'm gonna still probably play it here and there but again i'm not a huge battle royale fan so eventually i knew that was gonna like you know decrease a little bit because battle royale after a while it, it for me it becomes a little bit too um you know not to say familiar but a little bit a little bit stale uh in that you know it's only you drop in pick up weapons and fight you don't have like classes you don't have like necessary like tactical depth except for hoping that you're a better gunfighter or a better fragger and that's it and while i do like fragging again i'm not a high fragging person i'm not a you know not that type of guy i'm more of a support utility guy so that's why i like that option within rainbow six siege now they do have the multiplayer in call of duty however i've never really been a fan of the call uh, call of duty multiplayer um only because it's just not really my thing it's not my speed so it's just one of those things. But I uh, definitely wanted to kind of give this update. Um, you know, I'm not trying to back play uh, back any gameplay in the background now because I just wanted to talk. 
um, you know, if you guys are okay with that. Um, but for the most part, you know, it's going to be fun, um, you know, because I'll be playing Rainbow Six Siege a lot, really getting better at it and kind of sinking my teeth in. Uh, I do have all legendary skins and I do have all operators, so um, definitely won't get bored with operator selection. selection. Um, and for those who want to play with me, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you send me a PS4 um, um, friend request, um, Accelerate Games, that's my username. Um, then also that you make sure you abide by any rules, you know, no negative negativity, um, extreme cursing. I don't mind light cursing here and there, but extreme cursing, yeah, that's a problem. And then, um, of course, um, no racist terms, things like that, because apparently that seems to be the new norm now. A lot of racist people online, so definitely want to point it out. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's going to be fun. Um, and plus, in 2019, with me studying for my CPA, I just won't have a lot of time. So I'd rather master one game instead of trying to play three, four, five, six different games, if, if that makes sense. So uh, I'm using my time more precisely and more, 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 with more care, I guess you could say. All right. So hope you guys have a fabulous New Year's. Um, I'm looking forward to ranking up in Rainbow Six Siege. Um, as it comes to Rainbow Six Siege, there will be several different uh, videos or you know um, series based on Rainbow Six Siege. And just to give you like a, a tease, obviously you have my Copper to Platinum series, which is just like my videos highlighting. Um, my journey as I'm trying to make it to platinum. I've never been a platinum before, so the highest I've been is gold um, four, as you can see. But uh, I also have I just reached gold four again in this current season, um, so I'm trying to break out of that and climb higher. So it's definitely going to be a learning curve for me. Um, but outside of the copper to, to platinum series, I also have the Siege Phalanx series, which uh, you'll have to stay tuned to see what that is. Uh, Siege uh, Academia Room Knowledge, um, which you know I've already have one video like that, but I only do more those and uh there might be one other series too to add to that but uh, oh uh yeah no that's part of siege fate lights but yeah i just want to give you guys a little bit uh snippet of what to, what's to come so hope you guys i uh, look forward to that and enjoy and support the channel i know it's going to live a little bit different different direction from what most people want you know the choice based series but um as I've explained in previous videos, the problem with choice-based series is that you're always having to shell out money to buy new or different type of choice-based games because, you know, that becomes a a bit of a difficult task because you end up spending a lot of money hoping that you get a return on these choice-based games, but you don't. Um, and I'd rather just have a nominal return on, on one game that I really like and that's consistent instead of trying to get 12 different choice based games and after like three four five six different playthrough you know uh, that becomes tiresome um unfortunately and especially when it become much much harder for people um to really well it's becoming more difficult for choice based games to, to remain as relevant as they once were um i feel like they've kind of faded a little bit not all of them like quantic dreams choice based games that's a different story that's a that's a you know uh, event in my opinion but like just the not regular choice based games yeah it's, it's kind of difficult but all right thank you guys for the chat and i will see you uh in uh, rainbow six siege guys bye